Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to show you how to add a little vertical menu to your footer. If we go down here, I've got a little more info. When I hover over it, we've got a little vertical menu that pops up like that. Really easy to do, works perfectly on mobile as well. If I inspect and hit my responsive switch, we roll all the way down to the bottom. There's our little menu, there's our little hamburger menu, click on it and it pops up there. Perfect. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. First thing that we need to do is go down to our dashboard. Once at the dashboard, let's go down to appearance and actually create a menu that we're going to use. So I'm going to go to appearance, themes and menus. I'm going to go up here. We hit the create a new menu. I'm going to give it a name. Let's say something like more info, whatever you want to call yours. Hit the little blue create menu button. And we can start building our menu. Now, the first thing I'm going to put in is a custom link right here. I'm going to close up my pages. Going to go to custom links where it says URL. I'm going to put a little hashtag in there because you have to put something in the link to put it in the menu. And let's call it whatever you want it to be seen. This is what they're going to see first before they hover over it. So, more info again, whatever you want. I'm going to add it to the menu. And there it is. Once it's there, we can go in there by hitting the little chevron and remove that link. That way, if they click on it, it's not going to pop to the top of the page. Great. Now we can add any pages or info that we want to below here. So let's go back to the pages and start adding a few pages. Simply select the ones you want to put in it and hit add to menu. And there we have it. Just capitalize the first letters on some of these. These are all sort of demo pages I've used to just do the videos with. Great. When you're happy, what we'll do is we're going to make all of these sub menu items by clicking on them, left clicking on them, dragging them slightly to the right and releasing. I'll do that with all of them. Great. And if you want to make a sub menu, sub sub item, just drag it one more time to the right. I'm happy with them all to be in line there. When you're happy, hit the save menu button there. And it'll tell you that your menu has been updated. Great. Now we've got our menu. Let's build it into a footer. So from here, we can go down to Divi to theme builder. We'll get rid of that. We'll start from scratch. I'm going to hit that add global footer button. Build the global footer. Now let's add a row. In my row, I'm going to have three columns, larger one in the middle, something like that. In the first column right here, it's prompting me to put something in there. Let's add an image. Obviously, you probably want to add your logo there. I'm going to keep this extremely simple, this footer. I'll pop that one in there. Light in color. Let's make everything dark so you can see what's going on. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go up into our section in the blue tab. I'm going to give it a dark colored background. In the section and the content straight to background. I want it to be almost black, but not black. So I'm going to hit the little three buttons to get the palette up. Let's make it 24, 24, 24. That'll work for me. Be able to see what's going on better there. In the middle, simple copyright statement. Let's use that with the text. We'll put the copyright symbol in there, which is an Alt tag. So hold down your Alt key and type in 0169. 
you've got the copyright symbol. System 22. And we'll put in a pipe. And all rights reserved. I want to pop that in the middle, so I'm going to go to design, text. I'm going to make it light in color. Roll down a little bit and pop it in the middle. And we'll align everything in a minute. Now let's add our little menu item over here. Add a new module. Funnily enough, we're going to use a menu. If I move this out of the way so you can see what's going on. Choose the menu that you just created. Which was more info in our case there. Not going to have a logo on mine. Elements wise, I don't need a shopping cart or search icon. I've got not got WooCommerce installed. Don't need a link. I'm going to take that white background away that's there by default. Just hover over the field and hit the little trash can. Great. Well, it's still there. You can't really see it. So let's go over to our design. Layout wise, as this is going to be a footer menu, we want it to go upwards, not downwards. So I'm going to change the drop down menu direction to upwards. I'm going to center it. And if we go down, we've got menu text here. I'm going to make the active link white. Main menu text white. There we go. We can see it now. I'm not going to change anything. I'll leave that all on the default. That's entirely up to you. Now the drop down menu itself, or in this case, a drop up. I'm going to go in there, drop down menu, background color. I'm going to make that our 24 again. Line color. That's the little line appears. The blue right there. I'm going to make that the same because I really don't want to see this. So it'll fade into the background there if we make it the same. Drop down menu text color and make that white. Drop down menu active link. We'll keep that white too. Mobile menu background color. Well, that wants to be 24 as well. It's on mobile devices. It's still going to have that dark background. Mobile menu text color. We'll make that white. Fantastic. Down below, you've got your icons. We've got no search icon, but we do have a hamburger, a hamburger icon. Let's make that one white. You can change the actual font size down here if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Like I say, we're going to keep this very simple today. Great. Well, let's align all these things up. So first thing I want to do is I want to make this row full width, really. So let's go into the row, the green tab, over to design. Sizing, width, I'm going to drag that up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, paste it in the max width below, or you can just type it in there if you want to. We've now got it full width, which is exactly what I want. Logo is way too big. Let's go into the logo itself. Design, sizing, here's the width. I'm going to drag it down until it's about the size I want, something like that. But I want it in the middle of the column. Fantastic. So that when it drops down on mobile it's gonna look good well we'll save that let's get rid of it's too deep for me so i'm going to get rid of some of the padding in the section there the blue tab over to design spacing i'm going to put a zero in the top and hit the chain and have a zero bottom as well that's more the size i want brilliant now all i really want to do now is pop this down a bit and pop that down a bit and we're good to go Again, I'm going to go to design and spacing. And I want to pop it down maybe 15 pixels. So I'm going to first try 10. I think 10 will probably do it. Yeah, that works for me. Obviously, adjust yours accordingly. And I'm going to do similar for our little menu right here. Over to design. Spacing. Let's pop that down. And it's actually taking up the whole of our column there, which is a bit more than I want. I'm going to take it a little bit down in size like we did with the logo. So I'm going to go to sizing. i roll on down to width. I'm going to take it down about 70%, something like that. Make sure that it's in the middle. Fantastic. Great. We should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. Hit the little purple button. Make sure everything's saved here. 
We'll X out. Make sure everything's saved on this page. Now if we go back here, you won't see a lot of difference because I've made exactly the same thing. Let's just refresh to make sure we've got our new one in there. Roll on down. There's our more info. There's our little menu. And you can roll over it. Click on the links. Let it go. Go back there. Really easy to do. And that's a nice little feature. Like I say, it's perfectly responsive. Check it on mobile. There it is on mobile. Because we center aligned everything, they're nicely stacked. Hit the little hamburger menu. It's just going to pop upwards like that. Click it again, it'll disappear. Great. Then you just have to add a little vertical menu to your footer. Really easy to do. Nice little feature to have on your site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.